Welcome to Africa. I'm three hours north of Johannesburg in the Waterberg biosphere in the Limpopo province, South Africa. I'm here with Horizon Horseback who have over 100 horses. They don't live in stables, but a large herd that live out in the bush. And this is the morning routine of 100 horses. The morning starts before dawn where it's time for the team to get ready and make a plan. The main herd of horses are located about one kilometer away from the main lodge. It's time to get ready and bring the horses in for the morning. As the sun rises, the animals start to wake and the dawn chorus begins. The horses closest to the lodge are brought in first and have their breakfast. Once they've eaten, it's then time to tack up and get ready for the muster. These are the horses that will be guiding the herd back to the lodge ready for the day to begin. As the African sun burns away the mist, final preparations are made at the lodge and a clear plan is laid out with who goes where. I'm going to be in the middle, bringing in the rear of the first group of horses, with Leo alongside me. In the front, leading the way, we had Rue and Johnny. At the rear, we had Kat and Lydia to make sure that no horse was left behind. It was then time to make the journey past the lake, into the bush and find the horses. In a herd of this size, there are often smaller groups of horses that are closer to each other and are friends. Some horses eagerly wait by the gate, anticipating their breakfast, when others, like us, can be a bit slower in the mornings. And once they're rounded up, they know it's time to open the gate. Once the last few horses are rounded up, it's then time for them all to go in the big paddock by the lodge. Seeing horses in such a big herd together honestly melts my heart, especially when you can pick out ones that are best friends or are in a group together. It's really important that regularly all of the horses are checked over to make sure that they're happy and healthy. And first thing in the morning is a great time to do this. 
Having such a large herd means the horses take turns in going out on trail rides. Like you and I, it also means that the horses then have time to have vacations and holidays. On this particular day, we brought in 14 horses to be ridden later that morning. And of course, we couldn't miss breakfast, the most important meal of the day. This horse here that I'm getting ready for one of the guests is called Firefox. Each horse before they're ridden gets a full groom and their hooves picked out. And I've got to say, I think Firefox found his groom this morning very relaxing. All of the horses that are in work or need a bit of extra feed get grain in the morning as well as hay. On this particular morning I was making Firefox's feed and he needed two scoops in his bucket. With a little bit of water added as well. Hey boy. Hello. Okay. Meanwhile, Firefox was eating his breakfast, the last couple of horses were brought in and then it was time to get some yard duties done. With a lot of horses, there's going to be a lot of muck, so it was time to grab my wheelbarrow and shovel and get scooping. Once the yard is clean and I've put away the wheelbarrow, it's then time for the horses to be tacked up, ready for the guests. All of the horses here at Horizon Horseback have either western saddles or stock saddles that I've got to say are so comfy to ride in. And I think here Commando wanted a little bit of attention. But don't worry, once I'd put on Firefox's saddle, he got some head scratches and rubs and it's safe to say he really enjoyed it. Lastly, it was time to put on Firefox's bridle and lead him out to one of the guests who would be taking him out for a ride in the bush. Some of the horses that weren't being ridden that day had a snooze in the sunshine. Meanwhile, we had a little bit of a laugh before it was time to get the horses that we were going to be riding ready for the day. I was riding Nemo, so it was time to tack her up again and get her ready for our morning ride. Each ride in the South African bush is totally different to the other, and that's because you never know what you're going to find out there. On this particular day, we decided to go to the lake area where we had the most incredible hippo sighting, where we saw a male with a female and a calf. After riding a little bit closer, we got the perfect view. It's moments like these that I'll remember and treasure for the rest of my life. And after soaking in every second of this beautiful memory, it was then time to move on. As we rode towards the savannah, we went past the dam and had the most brilliant splashy canter through the water. And it's safe to say both Nemo and I had smiles on our faces. But the fun didn't finish there because it was then time to go on a flat out gallop. I had so much fun riding Nemo and something I love about here at Horizon Horseback is you don't just go on a trail ride in walk following each other, you do get to go fast and properly ride. Across the savannah we saw so much wildlife including elands and zebra and ostrich too. Being on horseback meant that we could get really close to the animals, making the experience even more magical. Once our ride was complete, it was then time to head back to the lodge, untack the horses and give them a wash down. Then we turned the horses back out into the bush with their friends and that was all lonely in one morning.